Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So last week I had quite a few DMs about my skincare and people just asking a few questions about what I use. So I asked over on my Instagram if anyone wanted to see a skincare routine video and I was actually really surprised how many people said yes. So here it is, I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about in terms of skincare, but this is my routine. I've just got out of the shower, as you can see, my hair is lovely and knotty. So uh, yeah, just thought I would show you what I do with this. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm in my bathroom. I'm sorry if the lighting is horrible. I have three really awkward spotlights and it's basically a big wet room which is why you can see like the shower behind me but we're just gonna work with it so I'm just gonna quickly brush my hair before we get started. So this has got absolutely nothing to do with skincare but I just thought I would mention it quickly. So I've been using this which is the Revlon I think it's called like all-in-one and it does like 10 different things and I've been using this on my hair. I got it over lockdown and it is honestly one of the best things I've purchased in a long time. I really really struggle with knotty hair and I get knotty hair all the time and it's just I spray it on and it's meant to do like 10 different things but the main thing I got it for was detangling and it's honestly so good and if I don't use it it takes me forever to brush my hair so if anyone struggles with um really knotty hair then I would definitely say get this I think I bought it from Amazon so if I can still find a link I will pop it in the description box below but yeah if you're a knotty hair girl like me then this is definitely the one Some of you might be watching this like, oh my god, she's been brushing her hair forever, but for me, like, it's honestly been amazing. So I'm just going to quickly uh, tie my hair up so that I don't get it covered in, like, skincare products, basically. So, first off, let me just say, I am in no way some sort of, like, professional when it comes to skincare. I just use what I like and I have gone through quite a few different things in my time. A brief little summary about my skin so it actually is doing really well at the moment and I do think it's because of all the products that I've been using. I suffered really badly with acne when I was younger and it was really really bad but I don't anymore and if I have breakouts I will get them obviously occasionally they're usually like around my chin sort of thing i have pretty normal skin i think i don't particularly have any oily skin yeah it's pretty normal so this is what i use so i will start off by using this it is the body shop himalayan charcoal purifying clay wash i absolutely love this and i've not got that much left of it but luckily i have a brand new one i forgot to bring it home with me during lockdown and i bought another one whilst i was at home and joe decided that he also really likes it so he stole that one which is why now I have like two brand new ones. But yeah, it's honestly, I just love it so much. I actually have the face mask of this and I had the face mask before I had the face wash and this is why I turned to it basically. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wash my face with this. So I usually wash my face whilst I'm in the shower, but obviously, I couldn't do that for this video. I wish you guys could smell it, but it smells amazing. And if you guys do have the face mask in this then it's nowhere near as strong because i know the face mask it can like stink a lot but um this is really really gentle and it's no sort of like exfoliate or anything like that but i just rub this into my skin and then wash it off like you would normally wash your face does anyone else find if they're washing their face in the sink it gets like all over my arms it's honestly so messy so the next thing I have, I absolutely swear by. I bought it again in lockdown. Um, so I have been trying it for like the past three, four months, which is why I wanted to like now talk to you guys about my skincare because I know it works for me. And I got it from the body shop and I've had a lot of people recommend it. And oh my, it's honestly incredible. So I cannot stand the, the feeling of like, dirt on my face like it has to be like stripped clean every single day and this honestly is absolutely incredible if there's anything that you guys should go and try from this video it is this i just it's my absolute favorite thing so this is the body shop vitamin c glow revealing liquid peel so it says for dull tired and grumpy skin now this is something that you shouldn't use every single day it says on the 
it doesn't say on here it must have said on the box to use it every two three times a week but i know especially since we've had to wear masks i find that sometimes i will just do it like here because it really helps but i will explain how it all works so i just do like two or three pumps oh that was definitely a bit much and you basically just i just like to get it on both hands and rub it into your skin they say about 20 rubs so you've, you've just got to go in like circle motions again i am no professional but this is just what i do you'll start to feel like dead skin basically as gross as that sounds that's what it is and um because it's a peel obviously it's just um i like to do my neck as well it just peels the skin and it takes all the dead skin off your face and you can like apply more if you feel like you've not got enough on so I don't know if you guys can see, but the little balls are basically like balls of dead skin. I know that's really gross, but um, it basically takes off all the dead skin. And then when I feel like I've got it all off, I just scrub it off. And it's very hard to wash off. So I use this to sort of like scrub it off. But um, yeah, it can be a bit of a challenge. So the next thing I do is use a toner and I have two different toners. So the first one is actually from Aldi and it says Healthy Glow Retinol Toner. Now I actually picked this up at the end of lockdown because it was in like the special buys in Aldi and they had this and they also had this version. Now this is the Pixi Glow Tonic and it's the Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. Now I originally got this because Jade Billington recommended it and she has really lovely skin so I thought I would get it and this tiny bottle is like it is 100ml and it's very very small and it was quite pricey and the Aldi one was I think it was like 3 99 for this huge but I did buy this first I use this as more of like a everyday kind of toner and I use the pixie one when like I want to have like a really deep clean with my skin just because I find this sort of really strips my skin and I don't want to do that every single day I'm actually going to use the pixie one today just because oh where did that come from just because I want to do like a deep clean. So again, the next thing is Body Shop. I know a lot of this stuff is Body Shop, but I just love the brand and I use all my skincare basically from the Body Shop. So yeah, most of the things are from there. The next thing is the Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Daily Solution. It's a little pipette like this and um, I just do a drop on my forehead, I can't do this without looking in the mirror, and then two on my cheeks, and I just rub it into my skin. I'm very fussy on like oils on my skin, and I don't know if any of you are the same, but this is not oily at all. It is more of like a, it's not a gel, and it's not an oil. I don't really know how to explain it, but it does not make your skin feel oily at all. I love it, and I will put this on every single day, even if my skin is really clear. I have been using it every single day for like the past three months, and it's only to about here, so a little bit definitely goes a long way. So I'm just gonna keep my glasses off. Definitely can't see the camera, but we're just gonna roll with it. So the next thing I do is put a eye cream on. Now, I originally was using the number seven eye cream, and I, I still have it in my box and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but I just heard amazing reviews about this one and whilst I was in the body shop I thought I may as well pick it up. So this is the Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel. Now when I got this in the shop the lady says if you suffer from hay fever this is meant to be amazing but I don't really suffer from hay fever so I just get literally when I say the tiniest bit like that much for both of my eyes it's honestly the smallest amount and I just put it on my eyes and I do my eyelids and underneath as well. I don't really know what it does if I'm honest but I just heard amazing reviews and I wasn't loving the eye cream that I was using so I thought I would get this and it is really nice because it is like a cooling gel feels so nice on my eyes now the final thing i use is moisturizer um, and i usually wait for everything to sort of like soak in before i put my moisturizer on but for years and years and years was a number seven girl and it was the only moisturizer that i ever used because when i was younger and i suffered from really bad skin i had very very dry skin and i found that the number seven moisturizer was the only one that worked for me however i have found a much cheaper alternative this is just the aldi q10 day cream and they do have a night cream as well and they do like um, an advanced sort of moisturizer as well this moisturizer is literally 3.99 i think and my number seven one was a tenner per pot this has lasted me so much longer than the number seven one and i honestly 
I can't tell the difference. Like I use it the same as I used to my number seven and I can't tell the difference. So Aldi definitely converted me to their moisturizer. So I just thought I would move out of my bathroom oh, as a hair because I don't like the lighting and I didn't need the bathroom anymore. I just wanted to tell you all about the face mask that I use if I use a face mask. I probably only do this maybe once a month, especially since I've started using this new skincare routine. I find that I don't really need to use the mask as much. It is the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Now, this is what actually converted me into the face wash because I use this and I absolutely love it. I've got to say the only downside to it is the smell it can sting quite a lot you can probably see from the tub i haven't had this very long and i've used a fair bit it's just a really nice mask that like oh it just strips my skin and makes me feel so nice i know that people rave about all the face masks at body shop everyone i speak to that has a face mask from there always says amazing things about them and i just love the products from body shop yeah so that is everything that i use and besides the face mask and the peel everything else i use every single day again i am absolutely not a professional in like skincare or anything but this is just the skin routine that I use. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will link everything I can in the description box below from all the different places if you want to check it out. Some of them are on the pricier side but most things are relatively like high street price because I love a bargain. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and of course if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you all so, so much for watching.